These are all of my baseball caps, and today we are going to go through them. I don't even know how many I own. Hey guys, Jeremy Jacobitz here from Brunch Boys. Brunch Boys is my social media channels. I bring to you food content from all over the world. But today, this is an episode of Influencer Secrets where I talk about sort of whatever I want to talk about, whether that's influencer things, social media things, camera, tech, entertainment, or whatever's on my mind. And today what's on my mind is my baseball hat collection. Uh, if you have been an avid viewer of Brunch Boys, which I hope you've been, whether it's on Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, wherever, uh, you see that I wear a lot of baseball caps and I got a lot of baseball cap questions. And I've talked about it here and there before. Um, and as you can see right in front of me, I mean, there are dozens and dozens and dozens. I have no idea how many, ca how many caps I own. Part of what we're gonna do today is actually count. Uh, but I did an Instagram Live takeover for, for Hat Club. Hat Club is a place where I get a lot of my hats. They are amazing, incredible. And I was going through them with their audience and I got all my caps sort of out of order. Uh, they've become a little bit of a mess anyway. So I figured let's go through today. Let's talk about my caps. Let's go through the collection. Help me reorganize them. Um, and then let's count to see how many I have. I would love to know how many you think I have. Write in the comments below right now. How many you think I have? Just to let you know, I've been collecting since the fourth grade and I'm 30, I'm almost 33. So it's 10. So I've been collecting for over two decades worth of baseball caps. And I, I guess I'll start there, uh, how the whole thing started. So when I was younger, my mom would travel a lot and she always wanted to know what to bring home for me. And she would bring me home baseball caps. That was always the gift of whatever shit city she went to. So that became sort of my deal. It was like where anywhere I went, I would get the baseball team. Always fitted, always on the field, always professional. We've broken some rules here and there, but that's how it started. Um, so I started with Yankees caps because that was my team and then just expanded from there. And then, then once I did, did that, I got totally addicted. And honestly, Hat Club has a big reason to do with that collection growing uh, exponentially because they have all these cool exclusives and these semi stuff and I love it. Um, so yeah, so I guess let's start there. So we could start, um, let's start with the Yankees caps. So my first cap I ever owned, I do not have anymore. It was a 1996 World Series cap, my favorite baseball team of all time. Oh, the best memories. Um, and that was my first cap was that World Series cap, but my mom washed it. She put in the wash and put in the dryer, and that's not what you do to baseball caps, FYI. So she destroyed it. So the first cap ever is destroyed, um, but a lot of them still date back to almost that far, 1996, 97, and we'll start, we'll start the end cap. So Somewhere Hidden is a redone 96 cap. We'll get to there, but we start the World Series caps that are here. Uh, so 1998, probably the best team ever. Yankees, what they win? 116 regular season games and 125 games overall, something like that. So great memories there. I got 99 back to back when they beat the uh, Braves again in 1999. 2000 Subway Series beat the Mets. Um, which one's this one? This is 2001. An all-time great World Series. Unfortunately, the Yankees lost. That was the one they lost in the walk-off uh, by Luis Gonzalez, was it? Or was that the one? Anyway, he beat Mo in Game 7. Sad. Um, and then this one is the 2,300th anniversary. Uh, they lost this one, too. That was the year they lost to the Marlins, I want to believe. So here's all the World Series caps. We'll find the 1996 one at some point. And I guess 2009, where's that one at? Do we not have that one? Shit, this is why we're going through these. So basically the way I break these down, I try and keep them in order uh, by team and division. So that's part of it too, is reorganizing and we're gonna try and split them up and keep them together. But World Series Caps goes in a special thing. They're actually um, presented uh, on top of my desk. So, ah, uh, we have more Yankees in front of us here. So Hat Club has all these crazy exclusives. They keep sending me caps. Uh, so they have all these really dope, just special Yankee caps. These are also going to go my these are going to go my front closet, away from the main collection. Um, I see blue. Uh, what's no? This is the new Easter Yankees cap. They actually just sent me the 1947 World Series logo, old school Yankees logo. Very cool. Uh, this is the pink bottom, uh, 1999 World Series cap. Also very cool. I got this one on Valentine's Day, so I appreciate that. It's going to go over here in the special Yankees category that we have there, because we'll find out too how many just Yankees caps I own. Um, this is the original batting practice spring training cap from early 2000s, early 2000s. Uh, I mean, this is back in the day when like teams didn't really have alternate caps, especially the Yankees, obviously. So it was so cool to like have a, a different cap for them. This one's dope. Um, this is another 
batting practice one. This is like, oh geez, it's not, so I wear seven and a half. So what's nice is the reason why my collection is able to be so big and so long is your head size doesn't really change. So from the time I was in fourth grade and started collecting to now, it's always been a seven and a half. This it just has an, it says large XL. This is the one in there. This is another year of the batting practice caps. Damn, don't miss those days. Seven and a half, baby, give it to me. Um, another special Yankees cap. Again, I got this one, Hat Club. Very cool sort of old school, early 90s uh, hip hop vibes there. Green underbrim, love that. This has become one of my favorite caps, actually. Again, it's a Yankees cap, but it's different. <laughs> these are all dusty, I gotta get these. <laughs> I gotta get these cleaned up. Uh, this is the ooh, uh, inaugural season 2009 special Yankees cap. Uh, it's all dusty. I gotta, I gotta brush these off. Um, the 27 World Championships on the side, so just a special gold trimmed. Very cool, just sort of special Yankees cap. Put these all here. All right, that's all good Yankees caps. Uh huh. All right, keep going in Yankees world since we're all right here. Uh, this is another relatively new one I got with that alternate Yankees logo on the front. Another one I've been wearing a lot of. I just think that's really cool and something you don't see a lot. Uh, usually you see the interlocking NY, but his logo looks dope. Put that there. Uh, this is a Todd Snyder collection. Uh, it's all wool. A little smaller fit on the head. Um, probably the most expensive cap that I purchased on my own. It was like $80 or so something very stupid. But again, I just thought it was so unique and different. I, I really liked it. Um, this is another, oh, I have two inaugural season Yankees caps. How did I end up with that? I have no idea. This one's just a standard inaugural cap, uh, just with the patch on the back for the inaugural season at the new Yankee Stadium. Um, very cool. Actually, that reminds me. I keep the official, I take off the sticker here. I take off the price sticker, but I always leave the authentic sticker on the bottom. Just something I've been doing as a kid. Some of them are gone just because the hats are old or whatever, but uh, this is one of the special, um, like Independence Day, Memorial Day, July 4th caps, whatever the fuck. I uh, have no idea what year that's from, but one of them. The color is off. It's like a much a lighter shade of blue than Yankee, normal Yankees caps. Um, and, uh, and this one is an icy blue bottom and a special hat club uh, cap. Uh, and this one is the 1996 World Series commemorating that one. Um, the difference, though, is when they make them look like the original original, um, the New Era logo is now on the left side of the cap. Uh, it wasn't there up until a few years ago, so they actually moved the World Series patch to the right to the right side, where it used to always be on the left side. So, because I think the rules are, if it's a new edition at all, it has to be on that way. If it's still considered an old edition, they'll do that. But other side, which bothers me honestly. But what are you going to do? Uh, oh, since it's right here too. Oh, but this is my. I always have to have like just a regular Yankees cap. Uh, this I wear almost every single day, so it gets destroyed. So I go through these like at least once a year, once every other year. Um, it's all gross. Uh, I try not to sweat my other caps just for that reason, but I probably need to one that smells a little bit. All right, let's keep going through. All right, let's get to the other teams now. So, okay, this is a blue alternate. Uh, Phillies cap. I want to say they wore this early 2000s, late 90s, maybe? I forget. Uh, Washington Nationals, um, old home and road cap. I think they've adjusted it a little tiny bit, but okay. Uh, so basically, the this is all going to go into the NL East category. Um, ooh, I really love this one. Uh, it's my only Pirates cap, uh, like early 2000s design. Yellow brim, full black, um, red squatchy. Squatchy, is that what we call it now? Red underbrim, which I think is really cool, which you don't see a lot of. I really like this one. Um, old school Phillies. This is like the Cooperstown collection. I don't love the way these fit. They fit a little, they're not as low um, on you as I like. So I probably want to get a new one of these. But I got this one when I went to a Phillies game. So that will go in the NL East pile. Ah, one of my many, 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 we'll get to them, uh, Angels caps. Uh, this is sort of retro, what, uh, late 80s, early 90s uh, Angels caps, which I think is really cool. Very much like Angels in the outfield. Green underbrim, nothing screams 80s more than this. I want a Yankees green underbrim. That is my goal. All right, we'll keep this one in the AL West. Um, Orioles alternate home, I forget. This is the old cap. Uh, you can see the, like, late, 2000s bird. They switched up the bird a little bit from the 90s to the 2000s. 
um, to be a little bit more cartoony, and that would have gone full back to the 70s cartoony, but that one's there. So great, and all east. Uh, what's this one? Ah, teal, gorgeous, stunning Florida Marlins. They never should have left the teal. Bring the teal back. Everyone loves it. Come on. Um, these are some of the special caps. That, so like I said, I pretty much collect only baseball. It's 99% baseball. A few other things scattered in, whether I bought them or Pack Club sort of sent it to me. Um, so I know this is from their, uh, one of their special lines. So this goes in a special, special category. Uh, this one has a special place in my heart. This is my high school baseball team, the Irvings and Bulldogs. Very cool. Bulldog on the back, as you can see. This will go in this special category too. Uh, World Series Classic team um, hat. I think this one's really cool. This is from the original one, I want to say, 15 years ago already. God, I don't even know. USA. And I also got the Mexico cap. So I've been to Mexico, got to have a Mexico cap too. So this one will go in that same special category of whatever. Uh, another alternate Phillies, all blue. This one is from the 90s. They didn't wear this one that often, I think, but just a different alternate. Uh, Mets, nothing screams late 90s. Uh, 2000 Mets, like the black caps. They probably wore the one with the blue brim more, but I preferred this one. Um, at the time, I didn't like the black. I still don't love the black from Mets. It was silly, but I kind of have a little bit of nostalgia for this black cap. I do think it's kind of cool. So this is going to NL East. Ah, the white Mets cap. This is one of the few caps that I actually cannot wear. Uh, I had gotten the original in the 90s. I think they only wore this in like 1997. Um, I had a puppy, and my puppy ate a few of my hats and she destroyed this one. Uh, so I was able to find this on eBay, but not my size, but I just think it's one of the coolest caps ever. So I cannot wear it, but it looks very dope. Uh, same time, I also got the white Red Sox cap. Um, again, this one sort of fits sometimes, but Again, I think they were, again, only wore this like 1907. And there was like this weird mid 90s thing where teens wore white caps. The Reds had like the pinstripe one. I think the Royals had a white cap. I kind of like, I really like that look actually. I don't know why they, they don't bring that back. Uh, AL East, okay. Uh, Detroit, I got a bunch of Detroit caps. I've actually been to Detroit. I think it's a really cool city. So rep Detroit with this one. Uh, this is throwback Cincinnati Reds for their 150th anniversary I got last year. This is like it from based on like a 1910s red stockings, whatever the fuck they were called back then. Cap, I think it's really cool. Um, NL Central. Uh, so when I go to a town and they do not have a major league team, I get the minor league team. Um, so I have a bunch of minor league caps. This one is the, I want to say the Charleston. Is that Charleston? Oh, I don't know. Charleston something. But this one to go minor league category. Uh, ooh, this one's one of my favorites. Uh, Oakland A's, been to Oakland also. This is for their 50th anniversary in Oakland. Um, so I got the Kelly Green, the yellow brim, green underside. Really love this one. Okay. Uh, this one, I was not at this team, but I just thought, like, I'm Brunch Boys. It's a giant biscuit. I forget where they're even from. I'm the worst. But this is a really cool hat. I, I wish the colors popped a little more. I'd probably wear it a bit more, but it's, it's funny. Um, San Antonio, shot a few shows there. I have no idea what their name is, but definitely San Antonio. And I like sort of like that gold in there too. I think it's a cool look. Uh, this is the, is it the New Orleans Zephyrs? Is that what that team is? I should wear this one more. That's cool. These hats honestly get lost. This is part of me going through them. I, I don't even remember what I have. This is like the saddest thing. I have so many caps. Um, this is a special cap that Hat Club put out uh, for San Francisco. It is um, a Sakura cap. Um, I went to Japan. Japan means a lot to me. I was there during Cherry Blossom season, Sakura season last year. Um, and I just thought that this is really awesome. And anything can sort of speak to my passions like that, I really love. So this is one of my very special caps. This will go in the alternate bin, though, because it's not a real team. It's just a unique design. Um, OK. So like I said, mostly are baseball, but Listen, I'm a New York sports fan. I got to have my New York teams. Um, so I got the Knicks cap. I picked this one up this year. I actually hosted a, a show for MSG, and there I asked them if I could wear. I asked them if I could wear a cap, and they're like, "Yeah, if it's a Knicks thing, I said, great. I've been having my eyes on this anyway. It's a good excuse to get it. Love this one. Uh, this one too, sort of throwback. Giants, I really love. Uh, I do prefer the new uniforms, the new logos, but obviously a soft spot in my heart for those early, late '80s, early '90s Giants. So I think this one's really cool. 
Um, normal Chicago Cubs. This one, ah, the Calgary Stampede uh, a hats, um, hat club sent me. I uh, don't really collect Canadian football league caps, but I do think it's kind of cool. Like it sort of represents anything, so I like it. Uh, sort of weird retro San Diego cap I think is really cool. I'm dying to get the new Browns caps. Uh, they went back to Brown this year, so it'd be really, really fun. And I've been to San Diego a few times, so I really like this cap. Um, Milwaukee Brewers, they're now old, new, but old, but old is new again. I forget. This is based off their retro logo that was just brought back for alternates and not they brought back officially. Um, the M and the B, classic. Goes there. Uh, okay, so this is um, Orioles from the 90s. Uh, so as you can see, I talked about the bird being a little different. You could sort of tell here, like the bird on the, the bird on the left, or, or your, on my left, your right, is a little bit more realistic looking just like slightly tweaked, little tiny tweaks. Um, but yeah, I mean, you really have to like pay attention to know the difference between the two. But they haven't worn that in a while. So those are like more of the Cal Ripken days. Uh, this is the newest of the collection. Uh, Milwaukee, new, I didn't even take the price sticker off yet. Um, Milwaukee Braves 1957 uh, World Series cap. Didn't have any of these. I love the old school look. I love the patch that they put on for the 50 Cent World Series. Very cool. Actually, maybe I'll make like just a total retro pile as opposed to putting it, because they're not the Brewers. They're more the Braves than anything else, but put those there. Um, St. Louis Road Cap, uh, specifically this is for the 2011 World Series. Just I think it was on sale, and I'm like, oh, I want a Road Cap, and if I get it with the patch, it's cool too. So. Uh, one of the newest ones in my collection as well. Uh, Hat Club has a lot of like really cool like faux, faux uh, throwback things based off uh, designs that never happens. So San Diego Padres were set to move to Washington. They went and they even developed caps. They never ended up moving because Ray Kroc came in and bought them. But they developed this anyway, and I just think that's really cool exclusive stuff. So we'll put that in that weird random baseball thing. Um, more um, minor league caps. Oh, I even left a sticker on this one too. Fuck me. Uh, this is, oh wait, these are the New Orleans Zephyrs. Do I have two New Orleans Zephyrs or did I fuck up what that other team was? Maybe I did or maybe I have two, but whatever. These minor league teams, I can't, I fucking can't keep track of it. Uh, ah, this is one of my favorites. Uh, I try to tend to get just actually authentic on the field stuff, but when I have a couple of them, I then I'm able to go into the random category. Um, Tigers never wore this on the field, but it's a throwback logo on the cap. I just think it's really, really cool. I love the old school stuff, like I said. Uh-huh, oh, I love this cap. Uh, this is a New York, New York Giants cap. It gets confused a lot for being a black Mets cap. It is not. Uh, where the Mets got their colors from, where they took the orange from the Giants and they took the blue from the Dodgers and that's how they got the Mets colors. So this is actually legitimately a uh, New York Giants cap, which I really love. Only if you, only one person when I've worn this out has actually been like, oh, Giants cap, dope. So put that in that random. No, that team doesn't exist anymore category. Um, alternate Braves cap. I'm not that much to say about that. Um, uh, Orange Miami, they do not wear this one anymore. It's, it's actually pretty cool. I think people are really going to dig this in a few years. It's going to be one of those caps that like, look scarish when they're wearing them on the field. But people are going to look back and be like, you know what? That was actually pretty cool. Um, ooh, this one is an old timers batting practice cap from 2014 for the Yankees. Uh, happened to be on my birthday, June 22nd. So that's cool. Yankees cap it is. All right. Uh, this is like a military fatigue Yankees cap. Most military caps I don't love. Uh, this one's a little bit more understated um, and it's actually become one of my favorite caps. I like the material too. I don't, it's like a little bit more plasticky, I guess, but it feels nice. It breathes a little bit better than normal caps, which I get very hot, so that's a very appreciated. And then this is actually another one of my uh, high school baseball caps. Um, I helped put this one together. It is a sort of grow gray alternate. We had alternate caps in our high school baseball team because of course we did. Uh, but I think this is really cool and obviously has a lot of special memories to me, so. All right, so let's get to the other side of this collection here. Uh, another alternate Braves hat with the um, tomahawk on it. It's pretty cool. Uh, another sort of faux back throwback uh, Atlanta. This is one of their batting practice caps. It's based off their old logo. I like it. I actually wish this was a normal cap, not the batting practice style, but it's a cool look. 
Uh, another throwback Milwaukee Brewers cap, now throwback. It was normal when I bought it. Now they haven't worn this in a while. Um, I kind of like this logo. I think it's really cool. I, I do like the retro one that they brought back this year. But I, I like the simplicity uh, of this. So that one's a little dirty. I should clean it. Uh, we'll start on this guy. Uh, another Mariners cap. This one based off sort of like the 80s teams. Really cool. Mariners have had like some of the dopest caps. We'll get to a lot of them. The big Mariners collection, just because I think their their colors are cool. They've always done like weird stuff, which I really appreciate. Uh, Tampa Bay, I love these Tampa Bay caps. This is the best look they ever had. Uh, that sort of really dark green with the black. I think it's a really unique look. Um, most teams don't have that, and I really love. It. So I have both them. This sort of the black with the uh, green brim and just the, the full green. Two of my favorites actually. Um, this is Blue Jays 2000, 2010 era Blue Jays, the steroid J as he's sort of known. It's a stupid logo, it's a stupid cap. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that. I own it, but it was not good on the field now and it just hasn't aged well either. Uh, this is Throwback Cubs, uh, part of their 100th anniversary celebration, the patch there. Um, I like the big C, like how it's a little different, very cool. Uh, this is the turn ahead the clock night uh, Mariners caps when they did this promotion in 1999. Uh, I think they've done it again, actually. That's where this cap came from. I went to the, the, the turn ahead the clock night uh, for the Mets when they became the Mercury Mets in 1999 because I thought it was the coolest promotion ever. Now it's like a big 90s joke, but at the time I really loved it and I thought this cap uh, was part of it. I don't know if they've made a Mercury Mets cap since then, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, more minor league caps, um, Portland Beavers, uh, this one are the Asheville Taurus, one of the weirder minor league things. Um, ah, Sting. I'm a huge WWE fan, and finally they put out real official fitted caps with, with New Era and Hat Club selling them. So I've got the throwback Sting. I love this cap. This is one of my favorites. Ah, here's a 1996 cap that I was uh, speaking to. Uh, not the original, but very, very close to the original I had. The only difference is under the cap, um, this kind of stuff didn't exist, and it was the old New Era logo. So very on the outside, you would never know. On the inside, you would know, but very special cap to me because it is my 1996 cap. Now that the original was destroyed. Um, oh, and this one I really like. This is a World Series uh, 1998 championship, best team of all time. Cap, very cool. Not fitted, but part of the collection anyway. Uh, Cincinnati Reds cap. <clears throat> Another Braves cap, uh, another Braves cap. I like this one. Again, it's a Cooperstown collection, so I don't love the fit of it, but I do love the 70s Braves colors. Uh, alternate Phillies. I forget if they even wear this one anymore. Uh, another throwback, uh, throwback Cubs. I don't even know if they wore this logo on the, on the cap, the throwback Cubs hat regardless. Um, normal St. Louis. Starting to fly through these a little bit. Uh, this is the Pelicans, Myrtle Beach Pelicans. I just thought it was a really cool cap. I've never been there, but thought it was interesting. Uh, this is for the Nashville team. The Nashville, fuck me, I don't remember, but it's like a record player because Music City, baby. Minor league. Uh, this is one of my oldest caps, actually, a New York Mets app. You can see, like, the stitching isn't even raised because it's so old. Um, <clears throat> so other ways you can know it's old is old logo, sweat stains, nothing inside. And my original caps, I wrote the numbers of my favorite players on the team. Because uh, in the 90s, like the Yankees, the Yankee players would always write their number under the brim of the cap. So I knew whose cap it was. I thought it was so cool. So Mets, my favorite player at the time was Ray Ordonez, I want to say. He was double zero and then he went to 10. So I had double zero and then I crossed it out and wrote 10. That's, this might be the oldest cap in my whole collection, actually, because that's definitely from like 1996, 1997. Um, Florida Marlins, 2003 World Series. This is the year they beat the Yankees. I have the 2003 Yankees variation, uh, but just picked up this one. It was on sale. Might as well get it because I wanted the black Marlins. Anyway, uh, Mets spring training, one of the years. Um, Chicago White Sox spring training. I like that it's the baseball player logo. Very cool. Uh, another Met spring training with Mr. Met. I love this cap. I don't wear it a lot because it's sort of funny to wear, but I just love that Mr. Met's on it. 
All right. Um, 1990s angel scaps. Everyone hated them at the time. Now we look fondly on those weird Disney era angels. Uh, I love the colors. I love the look. I love how 90s it is. This has become one of my favorite caps. I love this one. Uh, another angels cap. This one based more off their like 1960s seems like the original angels. So very retro, very throwback. I love that one too. Angels have had great hats throughout the years. Um, this is Brooklyn Dodgers cap based on, I believe, like the 1910, 1912 season. So before they like established that real Brooklyn Dodgers B and it's the outline, the diamond. I think this one's really cool. Um, so there's normal now Brooklyn Dodgers cap, but this one has like a little Brooklyn Dodgers patch on it. Oh, I love this cap. This is one of the Mariners caps with the yellow thing here and the wings and oh, it's so weird and stupid. I love it. Uh, another retro Seattle, love the colors, beautiful colors and a beautiful city I've been to. Arizona Diamondbacks, Rattlesnake. I don't know how I feel about the gray. It's, it's an interesting, unique cap at least, you know? Uh, Dodgers, the little heart, special edition. Um, this is a Padres logo. I want to say they never ended up using. Um, they could have used this at one point. I believe that's what the idea was, but they never went to it. Uh, Padres cap they just went away from. Very plain and basic and boring, but again, I'm in the city. I got to get the cap. Denver's been training uh, with that Colorado logo. I actually think the logo is really cool. Again, don't love the fit of these, but it's cool. Um, Giants alternate. Like the orange brim. Um, Rockies all purple. Normal Dodgers, um, batting practice gray Dodgers. It's kind of cool. Uh, this is like <clears throat> 2000s Diamondbacks when they won the World Series. I really love that logo. Really love that whole look of that team. Uh, oh, sorry. This is their alternate, not their normal. And I think they stuck with that when it got rid of that. Normal Giants cap. All right, guys, we're getting there. Uh, this is Blue Jays from 1997, one of the original caps I've owned. The bottom number, Pat Hankton. He won the Cy Young in 1996. Beating out Andy Pettit, bullshit. <clears throat> but one of the original caps I own. Um, now I've collected a lot of Dodgers, uh, Blue Jays caps since then, since I've worn a lot. This is their Canada Day 1997 variant with the red. I really love the colors of that one. Um, throwback, Blue Jays. I got that last summer when I was in Toronto. Uh, like 2000s Blue Jays. Uh, people hated this cap, hated the black. I only like it because it's a giant J and my name is Jeremy. So, soft spot in my heart for that one, even though I understand the hate. Uh, really dope throwback Padres cap with the 50th anniversary there. Very, very cool. I love this one. Montreal Expos cap, Canada Day with the Canadian flag. I put off getting Expos cap forever. I don't know why. It's classic. It's amazing. It's beautiful. I go there. Um, Mariner's Caps, one of my oldest ones, is from the late 90s. That silver brim is really, really dope. Alternate logo, like this screams Ken Griffey Jr. to me. Love it. How am I confused? Ah, Seattle right there. Okay. Ah, okay, so this is Hiroshima. Uh, so when I was in Japan, uh, I was struggling to find hats because it's not really like a merch culture. Uh, but then I finally found a Lids. And I, uh, I didn't have room to get every city. So we did Tokyo, Fukuoka, Hiroshima, Osaka, Kyoto. And I was like, okay, I'll pick up one cap and I'll get the rest when I come back to America. So got a Hiroshima, I just thought the classic logo was really cool, the Hiroshima carp, carps. Um, and I loved Hiroshima. Uh, but then I got back to America and I found out that even though New Era makes these caps, the licensing for them, you're not allowed to sell these outside of Japan. Maybe like third party places, but not officially. So I was very much bummed that I didn't buy every city, but when I go back to Japan, I will find it in the lids and I will buy every single city there. Let's go to special category there. Um, <clears throat> got this in Boston uh, a few months ago. Batting practice red. And I lose everything oh, over here. Uh, old, old school, definitely needs to be dusted off. Classic Red Sox cap there. Um, this is Houston Astros. Uh, Hat Club does a lot of deals, like I said before, where they actually make variations off things that never actually existed, but were in the planning stages. And this was a potential cap for the Astros. You never wore, but I think it's really cool. And they should probably wear this, at least on like a 
one, one day a year. I think it's really awesome. Uh, all right, that goes there. Uh, Astros World Series 2005. They lost to the Red Sox that year, no? Um, A's Road. Uh, A's uh, batting practice with the elephant. Super dope logo. Um, this is uh, Kern Houston, right? Yes, Kern Houston. Love sort of that throwback, a little bit sort of like retro look, I guess, not really throwback. Uh, another variation of the Astros without the logo. And my only Texas Rangers cap, the flag. I really want the new light blue, baby blue Texas Rangers alternate cap they put out this season. So I'll definitely be picking out, up that one. Um, here's an all teal 25th anniversary Marlins cap. Again, I love that teal. I should never have gone away from it. But what are you going to do? Uh, this is the alternate Cardinals cap that I don't even know if they wear anymore. But it actually just pointed out to me when I was doing a live video on Hat Club. There was actually a manufacturing error. This is from like 1998, 1999. The hat is supposed to have a bird with a yellow beak. Um, and they fucked up and they made a red beak. So apparently this is actually a somewhat rare cap because it's a fuck up. Which I had no idea until they told me in live. So this has become now a more special cap for me. Um, this is a very old Indians cap. It is totally destroyed. I don't even know how or why I ended up with this. I've never been to Cleveland. But it has that like, it has a gray big wahoo. It's an interesting addition to my collection. Um, Road Detroit cap, classic. I don't even know if they wear that anymore, though. Uh, alternate twins with the gold outline, I think is really dope. Minnesota is a, Minneapolis is a great city. I've been there a few times for food shows. Um, random, like, alternate Wahoo logo cap. I don't know if they ever officially wore this one on the fields. Forget. Uh, big Wahoo. Normal, which they don't wear anymore for obvious reasons. Alternate black KC, people hated this at the time. Still not a great look for them on the field, but I do think it's a really cool cap. Uh, and then throwback White Sox cap. And that is, oh my god, wait, I forgot one. I forgot one cap, hold on. All right, so one last cap. This is a very special cap the Hat Club sent me. It's in this really dope box. Um, rally caps are rally caps for me, famous by the Mets in 1986. They would turn the caps inside out. Uh, to get a rally going, and like, I mean, I remember doing that as a kid in our high school team. So the Hat Club made this cap, and I keep it in the box because, honestly, I would never wear it, but it's very cool. Um, it is an inside-out cap. It's made to be inside-out, which is, <laughs> it's so weird, but really cool. And uh, this one's to commemorate the 1986 World Series. Um, so they have like a big World Series patch, which I think is really dope. That's it. That is every single cap I own. So the next step. Let's count how many caps I have. Well, here we go. We'll start with the Yankees caps. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. All right. So we have 21 Yankees caps. <sighs> Let's count the rest of them. One twenty-four, one twenty-five, one twenty-six, one twenty-seven, one twenty-eight. A hundred and twenty-eight baseball caps and counting. So. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. It was a long video. If you stuck around, you are incredible and you are a nerd just like me. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think about the collection, what caps do you have, what caps should I get. Uh, share the video, like the video, do all those things. And uh, yeah, I have a problem. Guys, hello. I'm back again. I made the dumbest mistake of all time. I didn't count the hat I had on my head. This is a faux back, throwback, <laughs> Tampa Bay Rays cap. Add one more. <laughs>